Hey guys, we're here at the Extreme Auto Expo in Adelaide. We've got a client's car that we've painted, Pro VL. Um, we're here with Harry, the owner of the car. First time showing it off, what do you reckon? I love it, bro. You've done a mad job. <laughs> You're a good so, painter. Yeah. You're a good person. And Thank you me. deserve all the goodness in the world, bro. Your Thank support, you. your heart, that's the most important thing. Thanks, bro. Forget everything I've said, it's all about you here, bro. Thanks, bro. Well, and, and you're the best kid, and I love you. I love you too, Swear bro. to God. I love you. Welcome back to the channel guys, thank you all for tuning in, uh, loving the support, the messages, all the feedback we're getting from you guys. This week we're going to touch base on a few projects, um, we've, we've really squeezed in this week, I've been off most of the week with COVID, um, so the boys have been snowed under with heaps of work, um, obviously I'm out so that's where one man down makes things a little bit hard and you know it gets gets us out of schedule on on plannings of jobs that we have on for the week so if we've got someone allocated to a job things can change when we're one man down but we'll show you what we've been up to we have got a bit of progress done on a few projects so we'll show you what we've been up to and what's been getting done and um yeah we'll take you through all that together let's do it so we haven't really touched base on what color this car will be um i spoke to the client he really loved the track red I said, get rid of it. Everyone has track red. Everyone's got well, um, Vermilion Fire XYs. They breed like fucking hotcakes. Every, everyone has a Vermilion Fire. I said, we're not going that. We're going to be do something different. So I've opted to go. Um, it's obviously going to be a GT replica. So I've opted to go jet black. Um, and then we're going to do the stripes in a satin black. So the bonnet stripes and the stripes down the side of the car will be in satin black. So pretty much they're big ghosted. So when you get up close to it um, and you're looking at it, you'll see it, but from a distance you won't see it. Um, so I think that'll be pretty cool. I'm really, really excited to uh, have this car done. So jet black, satin black stripes all the way around, um, door frames, all that satin black. It's just gonna be like a satin black, jet black, and a chrome little theme going on with black trim. So I think this car's gonna look super, super cool once it's done and I'm heaps excited to get it finished and get it over the line and just show you guys what it looks like when it's finished because it's gonna be absolutely awesome. Uh, I'll show you what we've got on in the booth and uh, show you uh, something that's been done today. So we've got a set of Porsche wheels here. These were factory satin black, customer opted to go gloss black. So they've been done in and out, barrels a whole lot. As you can see, they look awesome. Got the center caps here. Customer opted to leave the logo, the Porsche logo, still there, so we've masked them up so we don't get paint on them. Then we got the uh, final part for the 180 here. So, as you guys can see, we have uh, stripped everything. So, all the mirrors are in the like four pieces, handles all separated as well. Just so every square inch of this car is painted. I did tell you guys, this, this thing is probably going to be one of the cleanest 180s going around. And I can guarantee you that. These are the side skirt extensions here. So, as you can see, the finish on them. Beautiful. Look at that. You can fucking spike your hair up in that shit. Another look at the Porsche wheels. We have left the um, the valves in as a special valves. Obviously, they've got a tire monitoring, so they've been masked up. Um, and these were satin before, so we've they've wanted them gloss black, so we've just masked up the valve itself. But then we've painted the uh, aluminium ring around there. So everything's done properly, guys. Tires are removed, so we'll put the tires back on, um, get them fitted up and balanced so they're all true. But yeah, everything's done, all the barrels, everything's just beautiful. Touching base also on that red VL you'll see in this episode. Um, this is a long-term customer of ours, Aaron. He's had the car for quite some time now. You would have seen in our first ever video, you would have seen some snippets of that. That is now currently finished. Um, it's at Aaron's workshop. He's pretty much got the whole car together at the moment. 
Um, there's not much left on it for him to do. I think he's just got to put the front bar on it and he's uh, happy days. He'll be cruising that thing on the streets. So um, be sure to see that. I'm sure you guys will see that. He takes it out to heaps of coffees and cars, pretty much every car cruise. So you will see that car out and about. It does get used, which is good. Um, so that car came into us, I think, four years ago, three, four years ago now. And we, uh, we painted that vehicle uh, in and out. And uh, he's just gone a little bit spastic with the build now, and he goes, I just want to take it that next level up a notch a little bit. So um, we pretty much just, uh, he stripped the car, and then we um, we just rubbed it all back, and we've just put colour in a few spots. It is three, four years old, so I had a, little, a few little chips and stuff here and there. So we just put colour where it needed colour, and then we uh, we hit the car with a, our premium clear. Pretty much float, we flow coated the car and uh, we let it sit for a bit. We blocked it all down um, with 800 all the way through to 5,000 and then polished it. That's a mission on its own. Anyone that does wet sanding or color sanding, they know how much time's involved. Uh, I think we spent 50 odd hours just polishing and then probably three or four days in wet sanding. Very, very time consuming thing. Um, fucking, it looks absolutely sick. Um, we'll drop some photos and videos of the car. Um, also, massive shout out to Adelaide On Coal Towing. Um, these guys picked the car up. Amazing service. Stefan and Huey. Massive thank you to those guys. We'll drop the number in below. So if you ever need any towing or anything like that, hit up the boys at Adelaide On Coal Towing. Tell them I sent you. You know the drill. They're going to charge you. Not double, triple. So you're probably best off saying you didn't get the number from me. Nah, just kidding. Uh, I recommend us, CK, setting you down, and I'm sure they'll give you a deal. So, um, yeah, be sure to check out those Project guys. Project XY. Damien has been very, very busy on this car. Um, so thank you, Damien. Uh, last time you would have seen, we didn't have anything on this car, so no quarter panel and... Uh, no door, no sill panel, no centre pillar and no uh, A pillar. So they're all on now. Um, just dummy fitting. We're just getting gaps right so we can get true gaps that we need. We are putting four door skins on this car and a brand new aftermarket guard. These uh, components were all bought um, from, I believe, a mob interstate. I'll have to double check what they're called. Um, so yeah, we'll show you what we've been up to and what Damien's been doing because this Damien's been on this job solely himself. So um, we've uh, got all that screwed in at the moment. So as you can see there, we've got the sill panel in, so that's screwed in as well. We've put the door on just to get um, some sort of gap. So they've all been sandblasted, guys. All the inners have been painted in gloss black um, so it doesn't rust. Once it's welded on, it's all treated from the inside. We've uh, started to get a gap. This gap isn't true yet, and we aren't happy with it. We are still doing the fine adjustments to get the style line correct. So as you can see, it's not 100%, and I'm not happy with that gap, 100%. So we're still in the stages of getting that complete. Obviously, we've got to keep in mind as well that um, the lower gap down there where the seal panel is to the door, everything has to be correct before it is welded on, because once it's welded on, there's no going back. Um, we are going to join the quarter panel through the pillar here. Um, up here, they do have a factory lead filled join. Um, we're not going to interrupt what they've done from factory. We are going to leave the lead in there, so we're going to go a little bit lower. And then coming around here, this uh, new quarter panel, it's, it's a, there's a join about here, so somewhere approximately around there will be a join. We are, again, just trying to get gaps right. Nothing is finalised on this car yet. Um, so obviously we're halfway through it, so it obviously doesn't look like what it's meant to look like, but you can kind of get an, uh, an idea of how it's going to be. I'll open up the boot for you. One second. Ugh. Oh, screwdriver trick. I think that one's too big. Let's go for the smaller one. So, we've uh, started putting the channel back in. Obviously, we're just trying to get some sort of gap at the moment, so before it's welded on. We've got the tail light here as well, so 
that will go in like so. So obviously we want to check all the gaps, make sure everything's right. Uh, we don't want to weld it all in or whatnot. So Damien is still in the finessing stage. It's nowhere near close to getting welded in, but we are just showing you a little bit of an update of what's happening. So as you can see here, the sill panel is also screwed on. This front A pillar section here, we'll touch base on that. So this is all being sandblasted. As you can see, it's got a huge amount of rust. There's a few days, you know, maybe a week sorting out this whole area, getting all that treated and getting all that correct and true. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do is get the front door on so we can then get the gap true along the bottom, the gap between the front door and back door correct, and then get the gap here correct. Also with the boot, we'll try the rear bumper bar on as well, the towel light on as well. Once we've got all the gaps 110% and we are completely happy with the gaps, we will then remove the doors. We will weld the quarter panel on. We will weld the inner quarter panel inners on. We will then weld the seal panels on. Once all that is done, then we'll sort out this A pillar section here, weld that on and treat the inside and paint all the insides, weld all that on. And then pretty much once this is done, we'll take the door skins off. That is uh, a lot easier, hopefully, than what we've already done. Hopefully the insides of the doors aren't too bad. Um, so yeah, then we can put the uh, outer skins on, front and rear, get that guard done as well. And then we're pretty much trying to knuckle, get this side done before Christmas, hopefully. Fingers crossed, no promises. So next year when we come in, we can start on the other side and get cracking on with this project. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of ex uh, work involved, um, a lot of extensive repairs. This isn't an overnight thing. If you do rush these cars, they will come up absolutely horrible. Um, and I've, I've, I'll stick to it, and I've been saying it since day one. Gaps and body lines will make or break a car. Doesn't matter how good your paint job is, how good your body work is, if your gaps and body lines do not match up, your job will look like shit. So we are super anal. We'll go around with a measuring tape and we'll have a consistent five mil gap the whole way around. Every gap on this car will be a true five mil gap. And if you take a ruler tool once it's finished, I guarantee you every gap on this car will be five mil. Um, so yes, it has to look good. Style lines, not meeting up, door gaps, bonnet gaps, boot gaps, towel lights, bumper bars, anything, molds. If the gaps are fucked and you, your lines, your body lines aren't all flowing, your job will look like shit. I don't care how good you are. So we are super, super anal with that. You know, some people would probably look at that and go, oh, it's meant just leave it, but not here. So as you can see, it still needs some fine tuning, obviously along here as well. We put all the locks in, we get everything in. So we're pretty much, the way the car is gonna be once it's fitted up and completed and assembled and done is what the gaps always look like. So I can, uh, this door's functional, it opens, it closes. So we know that the, the locks all line up, everything lines up. So once it's in its final fit up stage, we know the gaps are not gonna change. So everything has to be done. It's, it's, it does take a bit of skill and a bit of knowledge when you, when you get to this far of a restoration. But uh, Damien, man, I say it all the time. You know, he's just, he's phenomenal at what he does and he really does have a passion in the industry and he really loves what he does. So I'm super happy to have him part of the team and. Yeah, it's just a good, great, great dudes, great bunch of guys here. So, um, he's also fabricated this whole lower section here. So from like here down was all rusted. So that's all brand new. He's hand fabricated it. So he's put a whole new lower lip on it. Um, he's obviously marked it where it needs to go. Guy's a fucking genius. Um, I believe these here are the locking pins and stuff for the front. So he sandblasted all that and cleaned that up in the cabinet. So as you can see, it looks pretty much brand new. Put that back. The next day. Alrighty guys, what is going on? My name is Giles. I'm taking over for the rest of the video and we're gonna show you what's going on in the CK factory at the moment. We got a few hot hatches, we got a Focus, we got a Swift. Um, little fill-in jobs while we do the bigger projects and the resto. Um, we've got a VO in here I'm going to show you and we'll uh, 
talk to the boys quickly and see what's going on. So we've got this VO executive that's in, we're doing the bay. Her VO, as you can see, this thing's gonna be pretty cool once it's done. Apparently this has got like 400,000 kilometers on it. Um, the boys down, uh, down south have been pulling it apart. There's no drivetrain or anything in it at the moment. So they've pulled it apart ready for us to do the bay. That's gonna, we'll do a little bit more of this. I'm sure that will interest you guys. We got um, Chris here. He's doing a lot of the uh, 180 parts at the moment prepping some guards, um, the black 180 that is. He's uh, primed the underside, well, the top side of the bonnet, prepping the uh, prepping the underside. And we got Damo over here, keeping busy on this Beamer that we've uh, spent the last, oh, what, week wet sanding and polishing. Now he's on the final fit up. It's going to the customer with all the hanging panels on it. Um, and that's about it, he'll fit up the rest. Joel from Smith Auto will put the motor in and drive train. It should be pretty cool once it's done. Obviously, we're not going to see the complete um, the complete job just in this video, but um, we'll update you guys as we go along with it and get some more updates going. We've been working on the VH. We've just finished paint stripping and just done the epoxy in it. First steps, we had to scratch up the old paint, lay down the paint stripper and scrape it off then wash it off with thinners and then sand it down with 80, clean it again, blow it off and then spray it with epoxy. What's this JB? Yeah. Yeah! Alrighty guys, that kind of concludes the uh, end of this episode on CK Painting Panel. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more. Um, we have heaps of work in the workshop at the moment. As you guys can probably tell, we're trying to push everything across the line before Christmas. But guys, make sure you uh, tell us what you want to see because if we've got it in the shop, uh, there's no reason why we can't show you what's going on. So thank you all for watching. We appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to throw it out there. A bit of a shameless plug. If you guys watch a bit of YouTube, go uh, have a look at my, my YouTube uh, channel. It's Love That Motorsports. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.